Are you tired of manually copying artworks from DeviantArt? If so, we have the perfect solution for you. Introducing Crawlbase Crawling API that helps to scrape numerous digital graphics, illustrations, and artworks from DeviantArt website with a few simple steps. Let's get started. Go to the blog link in the description below to easily copy the code from there. First, let's set up the environment. Open command prompt on Windows or Terminal in MacBook. Now change directory to desktop. Create a virtual environment in Python named MyInf using the built-in Venv module. Set up a virtual environment for more organized coding. If you're a Windows user, use the code provided in the video. For Mac users code is provided in the blog. Now, let's install necessary libraries. First, install Crawlbase library to seamlessly make web requests. Second, install beautiful soup Python library to easily parse HTML data from web pages. Third, install Pandas library to analyze and manipulate data easily. Last, install requests library for sending HTTP requests to web servers and handling the responses. To access Crawlbase API, a token is required. Go to Crawlbase website, create a free account, navigate to dashboard. On your dashboard, click on account. Now click on account information and obtain free account token from there. Next, open your preferred code editor. Create a new file. Now, let's install the necessary libraries. First, import the Crawlbase class to use the crawling API in your Python script. Code is available on our blog. Next, initialize crawling API with your API token and create a search URL using a specific keyword to find images on the DeviantArt website. In this case, we are using fantasy as a keyword. After that, make API requests to fetch HTML content of the DeviantArt web page. Your script is ready. Save your file with a .py extension. Paste your token here, obtained from the Crawlbase website. Make sure to use normal requests token here. Open the terminal on your IDE and change the directory to desktop. Set up a virtual environment for more organized coding. Let's run the code now. The output is the HTML structure, image tags and text. If you're interested in extracting image links using CSS selectors while iterating through multiple pages, follow the steps. Copy the code from our blog to parse HTML content using the beautiful soup library. And replace the previous code with it in your IDE. Add your Crawlbase token, obtained from Crawlbase website. The code fetches search results for the keyword fantasy and extracts image links. The scrape underscore page function constructs the URL for the current page, makes a request to the Crawlbase API, and extracts the HTML content while the main function arranges API calls, data collection, and presentation. Clear the previous output. Now, run the script. The extracted image URLs are printed in JSON format using json.dumps. Let's test the results. Copy an image link from the output and paste it into your web browser. Here you have beautiful artwork from the DeviantArt website. In the next part, Let's explore how to store the extracted data in both a CSV file and an SQLite database. For that, copy the code from the blog and replace the previous code with it in your IDE. Don't forget to replace your actual Crawlbase API token. Copy the normal token from your dashboard on Crawlbase website. Paste it in your code. Open the terminal in your IDE and run the code. This code imports Sklite 3 and Pandas for database and data manipulation. It initializes an SQLite database, inserts scrape data, and exports data frame to a CSV file. Data files will be saved in the same directory where the Python script is executed. These files can be easily shared, analyzed, or used in other applications. Let's open the file to explore our output. Each row in the CSV file will contain an image underscore URL. Let's use CSV Editor for a more organized view. You can open the DB browser for SQLite to check for results. The SQLite database created by the code is named deviantart underscore data dot DB, and it contains a table named deviantart data. The table has two columns, ID, an auto increment primary key, and image underscore URL, to store the image URLs. Congratulations, 
we have successfully scraped DeviantArt images with the help of Crawlbase Crawling API and Python. You can find a written description of this tutorial on our blog. I am adding the link in the description below. You can find scraping tutorials for other social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter on our blog and YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest tutorials. And, if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in the future, let us know in the comments section below. Your feedback is crucial to us. Thank you for joining us today. See you in the next video.